You know, I like how they make this scarf. They make the the edges black because sometimes, like when you have foundation or makeup on, the edge of the scarf starts to the edge of the cut gets dirty because of the makeup, and they can be actually quite hard to get out. Like some scarf are like that, but this is from Shein, actually. This is from She and look, I do like this. I did this eyeliner. Yeah. I mean like my I hope my hand isn't wasn't that straight, but I think we got the gist. Okay, so so hello and salam and welcome back to the channel. It is Aisha. If you're new here, you are most definitely welcome. So hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, you are most definitely welcome. If you're new here, you're welcome. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. It's beautiful. Let's grow this place. Let's grow this medium. Okay, so today I want to talk about yeah, today I want to talk about things I heard or things I've experienced as a single person, as a single Muslim person, as a simple, as a single, oh, sorry, as a single Muslim person, as a girl, as a black girl, you know, put everything in there and you get the gist. I want to tell you, I want to tell you and talk about like what I've heard and what I've seen as the single Muslim single person. And you know, you're past 25 and you're like, <laughs> you get, the, yeah, what I'm, okay, so this is what I have experienced and what I've heard as a, things, you heard some things and you get advices to, you know what I mean, advices like, People be like, just go and marry. Like, people your age are already having two, three kids, which, you know, they are right. They are, like, I mean, yeah. Let's just give it to them. They are right. Thank you. You are right. People my age, they have three, four kids already. But, you know, like, everybody's faith is different. And everybody's journey and circumstances are different. Like, really, we all go through different things in life. And we all go on in life differently. But as much as that there are people my age that are like, that they are. Yeah, as much as there are people my age that are having it all and they have. So, yes, as much as there are people my age that are having it all and they are moving on in terms of, I don't know, getting to the next stage in life, maybe career-wise or getting married or being a mother or things like that, there are also people my age that are st I don't want to say stuck, but they, but can you, but even if you are, if you are, if you haven't gotten married or if you haven't have a child, you're not. Does that mean that you are stuck or you are just not getting what many or most people or what the society thinks that you should be doing? That society would, a 20 year old will be like, I don't want to say stuck because when you, when you think about this sometimes, if you say, if you tell somebody that oh, you're stuck in life, like you're just in one place and you're not. You might be like in and you might be otherwise be financially healthy or otherwise be like good mentally or socially or anything or everything or other things in in terms of your life is going on well you're just not and i guess me being, being a mother being a wife is a major thing and like when you're not in that society construction then people be like oh, oh girl what are you doing and like I said before, everybody's journey is different. So I've heard many and different variations of it. And I think it's just getting started. 
like honestly i feel like it's just getting started because i remember like sometimes it could be it could come to your face and be like what are you doing what are you still doing or like they give you dirty looks like what are you doing like what are you what's the plan i have this person i do this People say even start giving you that. Okay, once the person come, I I can help you do this. I can help you do that. I can help you. I don't know cater. And oh my goodness, you get so much advice. And you know you have to give them kudos. Like thank you for caring. Thank you for caring about my next step, which I'm still, which we're all waiting for. But calm down. I mean, you have like really some true and genuine people that are truly concerned and they be like, you know, give you credible advices and you have no, I have, and you have people that are not so genuine and they are, they are, and they are actually happy that you are nowhere in life or you are not in their space or in their place or, you know, your seem stuck and you're showing it that you seem stuck. You have people that be like, you know, you're feeling bad, they're happy. But you have some people that be like, you're feeling bad, I'm feeling bad too. What can we do? You can be offensive about it, especially when they start giving you dirty looks. Like you go here, you go there, and like, what is she doing? Whispering. Yeah, that's how it goes. All your mates are married. All your mates are a mother. All your mates are married. All your mates are mothers. Da, 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 da. and it goes on and on and on and on and trust me it's not so and you know like i said before i think like for me it's just starting like you are past 25 your mates are already popping out two kids <laughs> like you turn 26 your mates are already this and that your mates are already and sometimes you be like, no, sometimes just be like, oh, your mates are, your mates are already doctor. Or even people that are just like, or even people that are just like 17 years old. And maybe they got married then two days ago. Or maybe they are, I don't know, they are now financially or career-wise or they, or they blow somehow in some way. It's like, look at that person. <laughs> if I mean, if you start pointing out some things that people don't have and in terms of this situation people are nobody has control over who or what or what time this thing is going to happen for them so when you start pressurizing or asking or nagging about like these things then people be like oh you are saying this as if it's my fault as if i have control over it as if this is this as if this is that um, I guess that's w what ticks people off. So sometimes you see people who are genuine in their words and in their actions, and maybe the way they do it is just totally wrong. And they get the other person vexed up. So, what honestly, for me, I just take the things a day at a time. I mean, you you listen to what people have to say. But again, you know yourself, they're going to advise you on anything they want to, but ultimately it depends on you. And it depends and if you have someone that maybe you're looking to, or maybe you have and I'm not only saying this in terms of like marriage wise or relationship wise, it might be career, it might be school, it might be anything else like that. So like ultimately it comes down to you and you have to do you you have to do what makes what feels good and what makes you feel good because even without being in a relationship or anything like that you know that getting married or getting being in a relationship is a big step you're accommodating somebody else into your life you have to be responsible and you have to be in a place that you you know that you are healthy and you are financially and in terms really financially that you are in that space where you can accommodate i mean if you're going to be in a relationship you have to know that you have to be good financially to go in there 
And in terms of it's going to be a marriage or long-term relationships, you know that you have to be financially stable. Financial, it's the pataki. Sorry. Financial is the, is important. God forbid that anything bad happen in the relation. Because if anything happens, at least you have something to fall back on. You have yourself independently your independent self to move on ahead and without any disturbance as much as as much genuine as people are trying to like maybe advise or help out in a way or two you have to know that you are the one that is going to go to it so don't feel pushed don't feel pushed or to the fact that you rushed yourself I mean, if you have waited this long to be stable, to be healthy, to be okay, to be career-wise, financially okay, then you can wait longer. I know it's easier said than done, but don't, don't be, don't rush and don't rush. Don't rush and don't feel pushed and don't push yourself. And don't look at someone else's life and compare it to yours and be like, oh, you're not doing yourself any justice. And that's a disservice to you. So don't be pushed or feel like you have to submit into advices, you know, give yourself time. Being in love or being in a relation is, you know, I'm taking this class now. It's a health science class and you're doing a lot about relations. And, you know, so many things that they said in the book is valid. It's like, don't, don't feel, you know, you can feel pushed in this kind of situation. Sorry. So, yeah, you can feel pushed in this kind of situation, especially when it's becoming constant that people are telling you, oh, what are you still doing? What are you still doing? This other person has five kids already. Like everybody's journey is different. And that's when you have to be like really be cautious about, you know, even how you respond sometimes, like, oh, like maybe they actually mean well and they're actually trying to advise me. So don't be and so in this time don't be pushed or feel like you have to submit to what they deliver to you or what they I mean, I don't know, advice or be like, really, if you have waited this long, you can wait longer and explore and search and be, be happy with what, be happy with how your journey unfolds and God help you through. God help us through. <laughs> really, God help us through. Don't be pushed and don't feel like you have to submit. Especially if this is coming, like if like it's family, and sometimes if you are like if you're so close, like you know, in terms of like when like when um, Islamically or religiously, people be like, oh, I know this, we are family with this person, we are family with this other person, and then they want to like you know, and it's like oh, one family is angry because the other person, you know, you know those kind of things. So, so do not feel pushed and don't because. Sometimes you want to do it to like make the other person happy. No, do it to make yourself happy. Do it because you are in it. And if anything goes wrong, people will judge anyway. People will say any things anyway. So don't be pushed. Don't be pushed into it. And don't feel like you have to submit. If it, if it doesn't, if it does, if it doesn't, Smile either way and continue going. Oh my god, look at me giving advice. I was like, mm, 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 mm. professionals, call the professionals here. <laughs> oh my god, ah, my time is done. So, realize that this is an internal struggle, it's an internal struggle, it's not external. It's not your family, it's not your friends, and with with any or so much advice or so much recommendations that they are giving, it is internal struggle. So lead yourself all through 
alter it all, alter it all, lead you. It's an internal. This situation is internal, so lead yourself. Please lead yourself in this regard. Enjoy your single toad too. Like really enjoy your single toad. You only have now. I mean, who, I mean, who, who, who gets this lucky to be single and be free and be, I don't know, and be yourself and be having fun still, like in your mid twenties? Who get lucky as like that? Like nobody gets lucky. I mean, no people get lucky, but no, not so many people get lucky. Get that luck. Like enjoying their life in their mid twenties or even after mid twenties, thirties, forties. No, not so many people are, and not so many. And like when you are in love too, not like I remind, I try to remind myself like not so many people are l lucky to you know be in love or get someone that they are compatible with, and that's why you have to be slow they say slow and steady win the race so that's why you have to be that that too you have to be like really wise up and be diligent and look and be calm 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 is be calm like you know that's internal calmness like you like like when when brain is falling I feel like when rain is falling, like things calm down, things just calm down, like naturally calm down around you. So you want to be calm as when the rain is falling. You want to be that calm. So be that. But honestly, enjoy your single tooth. You only have now. Enjoy your single tooth. You only have now. Like seriously. I hope one day I'm going to look back at this video and be like, Wow. So enjoy your single tooth. You only have that. You do. Whatever month or whatever time you have left, maybe you have six months left of your sing single tooth. <laughs> or you have a year left of single tooth or three years or four or five years. Enjoy the time. Life goes by so fast. So enjoy the time. And honestly, if people will not stop bugging you about like when, why, where, how, you know, all those questions. When are you going to get married? When are you going to have babies? Because the questions will keep coming. You get married, they're going to come back again and ask you when you're going to get married, when you're going to have a child. And they're going to come back again and say, when are you going to have the second child? And they're going to come again. And if you don't, they're going to have to ask why. So in the meantime, why don't you take your time and enjoy yourself and be calm? Yeah, if you're going to bug you, keep bugging you about you, keep asking questions or keep trusting people at you. Take your time and maybe you need to like reroute or refocus or focus on something else. I don't know, maybe focus on some like leisure kind of activities. Or maybe you want to take on, on the other advice and go on functions. Or be, or make your, you know, don't get me wrong on this. Not make yourself available, but put yourself in space where people see you. I heard that that's not, not make yourself available in the times that people now like feel like it's, they have, a chance to just come into your life anytime but make put yourself like if say like you do community service that is that that's when you're like you're putting yourself in a space not make you you know you're not making yourself available but you're putting yourself in a space and in a in a advantageous beneficial space and it's not necessarily that you're doing it out of, you know, getting, knowing or getting to know or trying to meet some person. You're just maybe rerouting and putting yourself in another spotlight. So yeah, put yourself in another spotlight and see 
what comes because honestly these things can stress you out especially when people started coming at you and be like oh why when where how like you know you want to reroute in that way like oh my goodness look how bright and how beautiful this sun ray really is oh wow it's so beautiful and i feel so beautiful wow it's like it's just radiating the more like the more the time passes it's just radiated even more and i look absolutely gorgeous not that i don't look gorgeous before but it, wow you know natural light does something to you go steadily and because we are we all go through it as well i've seen and i know so many ladies like myself even my closest friends that you know and i'm like we are all in the same thing like even i was thinking the other time like oh when we were in school i'd be like oh you will be the first person to like you know and all that and now i look at us and i was like wow I can't believe I was wrong. So, like, even like people that are most closest to me are in this situation. So, wow, I didn't know. I thought we would be in another space, in another level in our life. But, like, not complaining. Thank God I handled life. I remember to say that. But, like, when when I saw that my closest friends are, I was like wow i didn't even i didn't you you know i might say that i expect myself to be still in my singletude but then i didn't think that my friends like my closest friends will be there how does that happen like are we doing something wrong? why are we all in the same or maybe are we doing something wrong in this circle so yeah and and, it, yeah, and one thing I've heard too is like you start thinking about the past as in like oh maybe if I've gone with this other person or maybe if I've done this before like if you're really going to start thinking about the past and be like oh in, maybe I'm this or I haven't had this or because I didn't go this way or because I remember this person that asked me out or asked me my ask my parents or this and that and you started thinking like that you might be deserving you might be deserving yourself so like let me as in presently be proud of the decisions including the bad decisions you have made because if you're going to say if or if you're going to wallow that you're going to go you you might go down from there you might go down like even though you realize that then by this might be a mistake but do not wallow on there and really maybe the time if you actually evaluate if you are put in that situation again maybe you make the same exact same decision because the timing allows for that decision but either way god is in control human beings plan but god do and god plans too so so yes, I'm, I just share my personal struggles and my personal trials with you. And was I myself conscious? Yes, I am. But do I really want to get it off my chest? Yes, I do. And I hope this benefits someone out there as well. Again, go slow, go steadily. We're all in this together. Whatever we have left in terms of our single two years, let us enjoy it. And yet, I know I am not downplaying this. I'm not downplaying it in terms of oh blah blah blah. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, well, it, yeah, it's good. Your situation is good. You learn from it. You grow from it. You will be somewhere else in next year, next year, and no matter how many years you have left, do remember to enjoy it. Be honestly, be free, and unravel. Or untie that chest, that knot on your chest that just keep banging. I'm not downplaying it. This, like I know, like I, you know, even as a woman, the societal pressure. Even if you don't have the pressure around it, maybe it's just the aura that is now around you. It's like, like stop. <laughs> oh my god, as a woman, like the societal pressure. It just, it's around you constantly, 
constantly and, and that's when you might get pushed sometimes so don't be pushed I know it's easier said than done and everybody's circumstances like it's different like I totally understand that but don't be pushed and don't be pushed and don't feel like you have to like submit because at the end of the day you are the one that's going to be there and whether you take you do whatever people are saying or you don't do it people will talk and will judge you anyway so remember that and uh, yes again this is not to downplay this this is a serious issue and you know societal pressure is a real thing and people get pushed into so many things that they don't want to do in life so this is from a sister to another sister i realize my struggles i acknowledge the struggles it's you have no idea like the pressure on the on the girl even like as soon as you turn 23 or 22 or maybe as soon as you turn 20 and you have like the men they be like still at 30 and like, they don't get any it's like you're pushing me to, it's like you're pushing me 25 and they're like oh in 10 years your egg are going to you and like no 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 don't do that it's enough pressure on the person internally and then to add the societal one it's like what are you doing like sometimes people get pushed it's like you know you don't get time anymore you're going and it's happened in every culture every culture white culture and black muslim asian arabic you name it it's happened in every and the woman it's always the woman that get the like the ends of it all like oh why are you not married now or why don't you have kids now or why are you not doing this now or why are you not this now why like how how come why is it only the woman that needs to be like get pushed to go and like why don't we shift all this all this all this push all this question to the, the men that are, i don't know 19 years old or 20 or something like that so yes so I really wanted to talk about it and it's what I experienced and it's what I'm experiencing and I feel like mine is just starting because I when I the last time I was talking to my sister I said you haven't heard the worst of it. Yeah, I don't you haven't like like it's something yeah, like I said some people just come to you and give you these dirty looks. And sometimes if you don't agree on something, they're like, Oh, she's too stuck up, oh she's too just like really it's these people's life, you know? But with that, I'm going to say thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening to my rants. It again, it's Aisha. If you are, do not forget, it's Aisha. If you do not get, forget to like, subscribe. Okay, it's Aisha. Do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and join this lovely family. And so we can grow together. Yeah, so we can grow together. So you can, so we can go together and like have, I mean like anybody who wants party, who like party, can wait. I know some people do advice so they can like come to your wedding. I mean like, you know, honestly, as much as you have people that are very genuine, but be careful too. It's you that we're talking about it's you guys that is going to be facing and the situation when you get into it so take your time be healthy have fun let's have fun together before when go into our transition smoothly and try have a smooth transition again don't forget to like subscribe Thank you.